and you're watching Street Workout Magazine. fitness I guess I just wanted I didn't want to call myself just Buddha on IG so I just kind of like try to make it somewhat fitness appropriate and I just thought of the fitness Buddha and I started using it since then and the reason why I guess I use the word Buddha anybody is a Buddha it means to be awakened or the awakened one and yeah I'm not the only Buddha there is in the world anybody is a freaking Buddha and yeah <laughs> okay, and uh, how old are you? I'm 25 years old. Cool. And um, how long out of your 25 years have you been practicing calisthenics? Well, tricks, I've only been doing it for the past two years. Okay. But I've been working out calisthenics reps since 2011, for like the past five years. Like, was there anybody that first like influenced you to get into calisthenics? Uh, well, it all started just by having nothing to do on my days off, and I would just go to the park, and I wanted to get in shape. So it all started just by doing pull-ups, dips, and push-ups. I didn't really know about the calisthenics game then until about a year in into my workout. When, that's when I started seeing the Bar Stars guys and these guys from up here in New York freestyle. And that's what like made me realize that I have more potential than what I thought. You originally, you went to high school in Miami, right? Yes. And then, so you started getting into calisthenics when you moved to New York? No, when or? I was still in Miami. Okay. I, got, I was still in calisthenics. Was. Like the South Beach area, or yep, Miami Beach is my land. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like those bars. That's like another. That's a, that's a, that's a hot spot. Yeah. What's your, your your process when you're prepping for a competition? Do you do anything different, or like, um, how, do you, how do you prep? Well, the way I prep for competition, what I, first what I like about competition is that it makes me work harder, and it makes me. Uh, it makes me feel like I have to improve by a certain time and the way I prep for it is I work over, I go over my combos my routines I do some running I do a lot of reps and two, around two days before the competition I don't really do much but the stretch and that's about it like let's say you know you're facing um, this bar athlete versus a different one do you ever like study the film like I do you prep differently for a different competitor I guess is what I'm trying to say well so far, I haven't gotten to that level yet because I feel like my style of game is to show what I can do best and not really go with what they know how to do. Like, my, the way I see it when I go into a battle one on one is to show what I can do instead of matching my opponent's moves and going by what he does. Because then I feel like I'm playing his game and I won't be able to show what I really can do on the ball. That makes sense. That makes sense. Cool. Um, what advice would you like? Let's say I'm, you know, 
John Calisthenics. I'm just starting out. I saw a YouTube video. I got inspired. I don't really know where to start. Like, what advice would you give to somebody um, that's just starting out in calisthenics? To do a lot of pull-ups, push-ups, dips, a lot of L-sits hanging off the bar, and just spend a lot of time just working out with your body and trying to get creative to learn a new progression for, like, a front lever or a back lever or even the muscle up. If you're just starting out and you have no fitness background, I would suggest to do at least six months of basic training to build a strong foundation. And once you feel that you can do at least eight muscle ups, you know, 15 high pull ups, and your dips feel like nothing and your push ups feel easy, then I would suggest to go and explore all the other movements that, there, that you have to do on the bar, or that you can do on the bar. It's good advice. Definitely. Um, so, in your own personal fitness journey, what do you think has been like the hardest move for you to get so far? That took, uh, took the most work for you. Well, recently, I've been on my comfort zone, and after coming back from this battle in LA, I feel like I have to step out of my comfort zone if I want to reach a new level. And the tricks that are hard for me right now at the moment are the tricks that have a lot of spinning. For example, all the 540s, I'm still having problems just doing it. Um, the flips, I'm not really into flips, but I want to definitely learn it. And more plants, I want to get that full plants on the high bar, like as solid as I possibly can. Lockdown, yeah. yes, you know. You know, since you've been doing calisthenics, how have you, from, from your eyes, have seen kind of the game, the game grow, and where do you see it going in the next couple of years? Well, it has definitely evolved to like a new level where I'm having trouble catching up, but. The way I see this sport in the next few years, it's sort of like how skateboard started or like surfing. Um, I definitely think it's going to get bigger because any little kid who sees this at the park, they're immediately attracted to it. And I feel like as long as the athletes have the love and the passion to keep doing what they're doing, this sport is definitely going to grow. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, Ray. No Thank problem, brother. Everything. Thank you. Appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you. Uh next battle. Hopefully I'll keep on shining and doing what I do best. Thank you again. Sicker than your average.